It starts with an intensive technical assistance visit. What does the environment need to make it engaging for children? And can we really do a makeover for $500? Today we're at the home of Deb Collins, a licensed family child care provider. Deb is invested in continuously enhancing her business. Being a savvy businesswoman, she invests in her own education, provides exciting, engaging curriculum, participates in Quality Stars New York, New York State's quality rating improvement system. Deb really understands high quality care. She reached out to us to help support her vision of quality. Her design challenge as a family provider? Dual use of space. This is her home and her business. Making the most of a small space and play materials that are accessible for all age groups. Let's go on in and meet Deb. Deb, how are you? Good, Sherry, how are you? Great, thanks for having me out today. We're so happy you're here. Let's look at your space and why don't you tell me some of the challenges you're having with your design. Okay. Freedom of movement is very important to me, but it's hard for my older children to be able to access materials that are developmentally appropriate for them while still allowing infants to move freely throughout the space. You have infants, toddlers, preschoolers, and then you have school age. School age children that come into play in this right. space. So when we think about the design space, we need to have materials accessible for your older children, yet they need to be safe enough in case the younger children are interested to come on over and take a look at them. Right. What were some of the areas that you saw that you needed improvement on? We needed a more defined block area okay. for block play and also a cozy area. So you also mentioned your outside play space and that you have a rather large space. Yes. All right, let's go on outside and take a look. Sure, come on. Wow. Wow. This is some great play space. We have a large backyard. Yeah, and this yard looks like it provides a variety of physical challenges. My husband and I both try to have something for every age and every ability so that a young toddler that's just starting to climb has a very small slide while the older kids have, you know, something bigger to, yeah. to work with. That's great. Do you have infant space out here? We don't have anything designated for infants, no. We're gonna get some freedom of movement space for those little babies to at least come out and have a space to hang out with you outside so you don't have to worry about them and they can be out here and enjoy the beautiful day like it is today. Sounds great. These stepping stones are kind of plain. What should we do to them? So I've just had my meeting with Debbie and it was just amazing to talk with her and hear about her space. We saw the inside and heard about some of the challenge that she's having. She's passionate about freedom of movement and I'm so excited to help her support those young babies that are coming into her program. We have some amazing ideas. We came into this great outdoor space. It's vast out here and so many things can be done. Hey guys, are you ready to clear this space? Yeah!
to do just about an arm's length. I put it on the inside. You gotta pull really tight. It's funny when you want duct tape to actually wrinkle. It doesn't cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping up on day one, and I'm just thrilled. Most of the major projects are done. We have our infant space outside that's started. We're going to finish that off tomorrow with a sound wall. Our infant toddler specialist will be here working on that. We also have some inside projects to finish, a lot of staging, finishing the cozy area. But the major project of the built-ins, it's done. They look beautiful in the room, and it's going to provide lots of extra storage that Debbie needs for the materials. The outside projects are well underway, and I can't wait to get back to work tomorrow. See you then. One, two, three, four. Good morning, it's day two and we're thrilled to be back. Yesterday was a lot of labor doing um, the painting and sanding and cleaning and today we're going to get ready to do the install and bring in all the interest centers and all the materials back into the room. We have a few last minute projects that we're working on that will be a great surprise for Debbie and we can't wait to finish this up and see what it looks like. A little decoupage. Look how nice this is going to look. You, you want to do a little crafting? <laughs> yeah, I think this is great. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to pull the paper. The design was really great, Kate. <laughs> oh, I have the wind chimes too. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Yeah. That's good. We say in early childhood that we do provide quality care, but how did we really know? So what New York has done is they've defined what quality care should look like for children across New York State. We partner with providers, we meet them where they are, and we have a series of short and long-term goals to help them improve the quality of care that they have for children. And we are there to provide technical support. Quality Stars is a wonderful opportunity for providers, and we look forward to expanding throughout New York State. The way this works, you have to press down on the side button and lift up at the same time. So what I like about this is these pieces, so I made you two sets, these allow you to change items out because, you know, they're going to get tired of doing this. There's no seven so choices. So I could put the insects in there. You could do a lot of things with this. Sure. Yeah, that might be a nice, safe way for them not to hurt your specimens. It doesn't even have to be magnetic. It just gives a different kind of an effect when they're building. You're using those imaginations and seeing what happens when they're doing things. A little baby teether that's translucent. It has some neat effects. There is science and there is math. Exactly. And there is cognitive so thinking about it. And there's cause and effect. What's going to happen if I put it in here? What's going to happen if I put it in here? It's engineering. It's fantastic. <laughs> we built this really awesome sound wall that they can play with and manipulate and touch uh, when they're out here on, on their space. You play with it a little bit. You get spinning. Here, that. Go in, and you leave just a small line in between the two. And then you take your zip tie, and when you dump that, you connect it to the table. Ooh, yours is nice. That turned out really well. Are you guys ready to go in and see the space? Yeah!
this is just amazing that we were able to take advantage of this small window space and create a shelf, stools to sit on, extra storage inside, because storage is so key in this space, taking advantage of every little nook and cranny. This clearly says blocks. We have all the accessories. It's print rich. We have these beautiful labels and you can see everything that's inside. Children can easily access this. We have a bench over here that provides elements of softness with puppets promoting language and literacy. And it provides a nice backrest. And the key piece here are the family photos. While arranging this space, Deb was so thoughtful. The low board here with the materials accessible and she wanted to make sure that they could see numbers and they could see letters and they have paper and pencils and writing materials. They often use this table for writing activities. Everything is accessible and here at eye level, right in reach. And I have this beautiful sensory table. This can easily be wheeled out and put back away, and all the materials are neatly tucked away underneath. We took advantage of the staircase, and this can easily be taken down. We have a flannel board with puppets tucked in and made a cushion, so when children come into the entryway here, they can sit down and they can take their shoes off and hang their coats up, which promotes independence. One of the other things that she was really trying to accomplish was making room for these new babies that are gonna come in. We have all these elements of softness down here, and then we use low shelving to divide the space and create this protective play space for infants. One thing you'll notice in this infant space, there's no containers. We don't have any bouncy seats or extra saucers. We have freedom of movement. Deb is passionate about freedom of movement for babies, and she's certified these babies can be on the floor, stretching, growing, and using their large muscles. In meeting the needs for the infants, we needed to consider outdoor play. We created this beautiful outdoor space using these easy snap together outdoor pavers that are a composite plastic material so it's safe for infants to play on. This great sound wall. We have chimes with the babies hit the cups. We're making noise and just a peaceful place outside for a baby to play. So we continue with meeting the needs for the mixed age group. We met the needs of infants for outdoor. Now we're gonna go into the older children's space. And this water wall is absolutely amazing and it just screams fun. The best part of this project, it didn't cost a thing. With creativity, imagination, and collaboration, you too can make a difference. Hi guys, are you having fun? Yeah. Where should I dump my water? Oh, let's see, where's it gonna come out? Deb is the perfect person, I think, for this Make a Difference campaign. She really defines what quality care should look like for children. Even though she's been in business for several years, she still strives to improve the quality of care for children. And I think that's what makes her so special. And so many providers in our state special is that we're always trying to strive to improve what we are already doing. Hopefully a lot of family providers watch this and now see themselves as early childhood educators, not babysitters. I, I love just helping out. Debbie does so much for us and our, ch our child. She's always been there for us and taking care of her, so it's just been great to be able to give back and do something for her. It was awesome. It was awesome to be able to be part of this and to just create something to help them create their own mind. It's, uh, it's rewarding in more ways than one. I'm super excited for these kids because it's, a, it's an opportunity, like, like they both have said, for them to kind of focus on their own um, special, special needs while they're outside and inside.